16 million. Dude. Alright, what's up, agents? It's about to begin week two of the Huntsman League. And like I always like to do, I like to figure out what is, in my opinion, the best combination and the best way of going about getting the different types of challenges done. So this week, one of them is weak point kills. So I wanted to just go ahead and show you the variation of a build that I already have that you guys may very well be familiar with and how I have adapted that a little bit in order to get these kills. So let's just get into it real quick. This will be a quick one. What I'm doing is I'm running a variant of my Stinker build, which we just released out, uh, which is based off of the Hive, and it would normally use the Cluster Seeker Mines. However, we're gonna be using the Demolisher Firefly. Uh, what this is a four-piece hardwire with a China Light for the explosive damage. We're using Glass Cannon just for the extra damage, and remember, that's all on top of any damage numbers you see. Uh, you could use something else. Uh, you don't need to use glass cannon. If you wanted, you could use something for more survivability. You would even just uh, use Unbreakable if you wanted to. Uh, and then we're using the BTSU gloves. And this is simply to make sure that the hive is constantly available. And since the demolisher does not do anything against targets without weak points, uh, the hive is basically there to keep from getting rushed and keep us in a good spot and be able to take dudes down. So the weapons don't really matter, but we're using a P416 with spike and a 249 within sync. Back of boomstick right there with future perfect and just the stats. So the hive 1.3 second cooldown per charge, um, million base damage and 52,000 bleed. And then here's the big one. So we're using the demolisher firefly it has a 25 point in second cooldown, which is mitigated through use of the hardwire with the feedback loop. Uh, in addition, you'll notice that the damage is 9 million, which is basically enough to take down almost any single weak point on any enemy, including the big dudes. So this is more than enough. As long as you target the dudes and this firefly makes it to them, you will get the weak point kill. Alright, so I'm going to do a quick run out here to show you guys real quick how it works just basically. And then hopefully I'll get some good footage someplace of a spot that you could essentially farm these kills if you want to try doing that. See now the downside is right, so I'm going to get my demolisher back, but there's no other weak points out here, right? Nobody else has a weak point, so this is what I'm talking about where it just at some point... You, you have to have other ways of killing dudes. You, We'll see if we can't find a good place to go farm. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll check it from there. We're currently at 324 of the 500 we need. So. Alright agents, one thing you could do is find an invaded mission. That way you know how you'll have Black Tusk. The Black Tusk tend to have lots of tools. They have the robot dogs, which this will take down. Uh, they have the little uh, Johnny Five tanks, the mini tanks. So uh, a lot of these things, and they have a lot of drones. So all of these things, the Firefly will take down really quick and all counts. So. Black Tusk has infiltrated the bunker and has sent a digital forensic team to dig through the old Shade Network hub. We have to shut them down. All right, remember, I'm with Glass Cannon, too. So you guys probably, if you're going to be smashing through this mission solo, uh, what you would want to do, of course, would be to use something else. But the trick is you just roll through with a group of guys because you're just trying to t get weak point kills. So Clear the area outside the bunker entrance. Stop this! Huh. 
Huh. They've managed to compile a ton of corrupted data from the Shade network servers. I had no idea Black Tusk had access to this kind of digital forensic software. The good part is I'll probably get a couple extra weak point kills just on this fucker, so... Dude, dude. Again, with this, why the fuck is it making me stick to shit when I'm not trying to stick to shit? Alright guys, so you see the legit method works good, but if you guys want to do it all very easy, very quickly, in one mission, in this room I'm going to show you, basically take out all the enemies, try to damage the gunner, the uh, the tank, the least amount possible, until uh, he's all by himself, and in just a moment here, we'll see what happens. Can I just keep doing this over and over again? That would be silly. Finally blows up. Okay, so you can only do so many times. That's pretty crazy. I had no idea. Oh, dude, perfect. Tune him back in real quick guys we uh, we've been here just a few minutes this dude actually has not moved and as you can see we're about to hit stage nine Get 
fucked up. What the hell was? So another thing you guys want to do if you don't want to cheap it with the gunner, but you want an easy way of getting this done and you don't mind wiping, and you do have a little bit of survivability, you could simply come to, you get to this room full of the Warhounds, and go ahead and just keep lobbing these over and over again. Uh, this would be an actual faster way. Um, I just wanted to show you guys the glitch, but you could just basically stand out here and just keep throwing these over and over again and get the dogs to go down. And they're down long enough that you can basically sit there, wait, use hardwire to reproc your, uh, your firefly, and then just do it again. Uh, the downside is, is you wouldn't have to wipe or kill yourself because this does take, uh, this does do a lot of damage. You, you could, will kill the dogs, unlike the tank. As you can see. Sixteen million, dude. Come on, did you do it? Yeah, thirteen, thirteen. Damn. All right. And here we go. Bam, there it is, guys. We should be an agent now. Bam. Come on, where's the other one? One? What happened, bud? This is gonna be stupid. All right, you guys ready for this? Here we go. Watch out. That's how you do it, by the way. Is that it? Did that just fucking finish it off? I just fuck all you guys, dude. All right, the monster didn't suck. We got an exotic out of that fuck. I mean, come on. What up, buddy? Uh, is that another chameleon? Of course it is, and I got one that's totally max. So that's a exotic component right there. There we go. Files transfer. This looks like troop orders based on the intel you found. That. Dude, let's have a drink, dude. Fine. Fucking yeah. These intentions will help us defend against them. That's how you know you did some damage. Negative 1.6 billion. Here we go. Bam. So we now have access to the loyal hound bam sweet guys so next I think starting next week we should get four new missions so that way if any of you guys need uh, if any of these are too hard for you guys to get to stage 10 on you could catch up using those other ones. So, uh, weak points, fairly easy. Headshot kills, fairly easy. Uh, if any of you guys want the guide on how I did the headshot kills, uh, go ahead and leave a comment. Uh, I'll go ahead and make a quick video of that. Uh, I used my other character for it, but I got a super easy build that makes it real easy to just knock the headshots out. Uh, and in fact, if you haven't done it, what you can do is use that same build again let me know in the comments if you guys want it out but this teamwork no 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 combat yeah getting the 20 headshots per you guys see 
yeah so if anybody's interested in that just let me know and uh, even if one person's interested I'll make the uh, video because I see a lot of times there will be one person's interested I do a video and a lot of people check it out so you agents take it easy I hope this helped to get past any of this if you guys are struggling and I will see you agents in the dark zone